Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I did a little bit more of uh, grinding vaults between episodes. I'm up to level 43 now. And uh, my most recent vault, I got our first unidentified charm. We're going to roll this one the old-fashioned way. This is the first time we've gotten a, uh, a charm from a vault. Uh, so let's see... A Tenos charm. Oh wait, this is not a trinket. This is this is this is not what I thought it was. <laughs> okay, so this gives me affinity with one of the gods. Uh, there are four vault gods. There's Idona, Tenos, Valara, and Wan uh, Wendar, and they do various things. Uh, I'm not super familiar with them. There is a quest for it, but uh, it's all the way down here and um i i'm stuck on the archives quest still because i have not yet found uh an archive in a dungeon still working on that um but a couple other things i have been banking knowledge essence and had enough to craft five knowledge stars <laughs> so uh there we go so we now have six unspent knowledge points. We're going to use those later. Um, but I also gra I also think I have completed a relic set here. So what we need to do is make a relic pedestal like this. And I guess I'll just put it here for now. And oh, there are five. There are five per relic. It's not just four. I thought it was four. Okay, never mind. We have not completed a relic set. <laughs> I thought we had. I, I am, I am big sad. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, I guess I'll just put this in here for now. Um, but yeah, today is going to be an episode where we don't really focus on the vaults for once. We're getting to a point where we're kind of getting a little bit desperate for infrastructure. Uh, so I want to set up a few things today, and they're going to involve uh, some of those knowledge points that we just had. Uh, one of them, I think we might get into... Hi? Go away. Uh, I think we might get into the easy village... Hello? Uh, hi? Uh, okay. <laughs> Don't know where I was getting hit from, but uh, whatever. Um, it looked like maybe it was a blitz. One of those, like, I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, anyway, I, I digress. Um, I think we might get into the Easy Villagers mod today because the thing is, I actually have some really nice vault gear in here. Uh, that is a pretty significant upgrade from what I have right now. The thing is... Um, I am basically completely out of emeralds. I I have four emeralds. <laughs> and I do have a bunch of villagers uh, right here. And we could do a traditional vanilla villager trading hall and it would be fine. But I want to look into this mod and see how this works. Because I've never really used this mod before. Uh, the other thing, too, is we also have easy piglins. This will do piglin bartering, which would be nice. And then botany pots. Uh, so we got some options here. We could do like botany pots and easy villagers, or we could do easy villagers and then like the Kajirium mod for passive for things. Or I could just dump it all into create. I don't know yet what I want to do. I want to look into some of these mods and see uh, just how useful they will be for us. But um, I also have a vault to run as well, and I'd like to uh, I'd like to get villagers and stuff set up so I can get that new gear enchanted before I run this vault. Okay, I've done a little bit of uh, video watching, research, etc. I know for sure I definitely want the easy villagers mod. This mod seems amazing. Uh, we're definitely going to take that. The other four points, though, I don't really know. Um... Kajirium and I, I think we'd probably go with eye spawners over Kajirium. Kajirium doesn't actually seem wow. It also costs 15 research. That is an insane amount. Why is all my research so expensive? 
Oh, because I just got a... Pro oh, I forgot about this. When you get something it um, from a category, it makes everything else from that category way more expensive for a while. I totally forgot about that. Okay. Well... Uh, in that case, we are going to spend some points on building gadgets. Um, because now Kajirium would only be... No, wait. Now now we're back to insane prices again. I don't know. Okay. Well, I don't know how we we're going to deal with this, but we will see. Um, that is unfortunate. What do I need to do? I need to take a... The place somewhere else? Like, some of this stuff is just plus 12? <laughs> like, anyway, Kajirium is supposed to be 3 research. Uh, eye spawners are supposed to be 3 research. I think we're ultimately going to go eye spawners. Um, but in order to work with that, we need another mod, like thermal expansion or create or something like that that allows us to essentially kill the mods because... Kajirium is kind of like a all-in-one block, sort of like Easy Villagers, like you'll see in a minute, where you create a thing and it just sort of passively outputs, res uh, you know, resources. Whereas Mob Spawners physically spawns the mobs into the world. Uh, that's what Eye Spawners does, uh, and then you have to, you know, move them around like a, like an actual, you know, mob farm. Um, so we got options, though. I mean, we can definitely work with that. Um, I mean, we could just do it the old fashion vanilla way, I suppose, and make a room with a hole in the middle. Uh, I, I don't hate that idea. That actually wouldn't be that hard to do. Um, but either way, for now, we're doing easy villagers. And this mod is incredible. So uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves just a regular old villager. I'm going to throw down a loom here, and we'll put you next to the loom. Maybe. I, I I need you to I need you to become actually do I already have a shepherd? I doubt it. Villager, farmer, farmer, armor, leather worker. Yeah, it doesn't look like I already have a um a shepherd, but that's okay. We will just imprison one. We'll just do uh, one of these. And we'll grab our loom. Throw that right here. Throw this right here. And this right here. And in you go. And this guy should eventually turn into a farmer, I think. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, this it, once he does, we can put him in a box, essentially. Uh, and while we're waiting for that, we can demonstrate with... Because I'm going to want some farmer villagers as well. So let's go to easy villagers. So what we want to make here are these auto traders. Uh, they, oof, they're not cheap though. Uh, they do require a basic trader though. Maybe we can start with that. These aren't too bad. It's just chromatic steel, tinted glass. Oh, that's right. I need amethyst for that. Ooh. I don't know how many amethyst. Where do I even have my amethyst? Right here? Yeah. Okay. We do have some amethyst. There we go. He's a shepherd. Fantastic. So we can demonstrate this whole thing then. So we're just going to pick him back up. He's a shepherd now. Uh, so let's do... Ooh. Uh, I forgot that my floor is also made of sandstone. Uh, oops. There we go. Uh, I will throw a torch down there just for safety. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we have our shepherd. We're going to put this stuff in here. We need some glass. 
and we need to make, let's make 10, 10 tinted glass. That'll be enough for two of these traders. Then we need two perfect Laramar gems, one for each. And then we also need some chromatic steel, which I do have, although I am running a bit low. So we'll make two of these traders. Now, uh, I'm not sure if you can, I think you can take them out. Like if I put this guy in here and I do, oh, and I do this. Yeah, okay. So I can put him in. Oh, but now he's not a shepherd anymore. Do I have to do... Oh, I see. Oh, that's even easier then. Okay, so I just put them in uh, to the, the spawner. Like so. Put their workstation in. And then you can just click on them and interact with them like normal. However, I need you to do white wool for emeralds. It would be great if I could find it cheaper than 18, but it doesn't look like I'm going to. So I guess we'll just stick with this. This is fine. Uh, however, that is how you would trade with them as normal. What I actually want to do is set this up so I can automatically uh, trade with them. Because that will be just so much better. So, for this, what we need is some black chromatic steel. And, I was it a perfect? Uh, perfect black. Okay. So, we'll make one of these. We'll take our chromatic steel. And do this. Oh, that makes one. Okay. Well, I'm going to need more than I thought then. Okay, this is fine. Um, let's do this. And then let's go get some of you. And let's just make a bunch of chromatic steel. And there we go. We now have three black chromatic steel. And then we also need a regular trader. We're going to need two of those. What happened to my tinted glass? Did I not make ten? Oh, duh, duh. I used it all because I made. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're fine. So let's make two more tinted glass. We're going to need an ex uh, two extraordinary Laramar. But that'll be easy, because we've got enough. There we go. And then we need a pog. And those are not cheap, but thankfully, I have enough to make one. So what we can do now is one of these, and this is the same thing, except it is compatible with hoppers. Uh, so it will automatically do what I want it to do. You can automatically put stuff in and output stuff. So let's grab some chests. Grab some iron. And we'll just go ahead and make ourselves a couple of vanilla hoppers. And then we can grab our chests again. And uh, for now, I guess we'll just set this up right here. Uh, da, 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 da. Right? And we put you right here. We throw you in there along with your loom. And then we do a hopper. And a hopper. And we can click on him to see what he wants. Uh, we, it'll be like, hey, what are you trying to put in here? But then, if we grab a bunch of wool, which remember we can get really easy thanks to the, uh, the animal jars, it will start inputting items and outputting emeralds. And it may take a little bit, 
But basically, once it reaches 18, it'll output it. And I don't know that it... I don't know if the trades can lock. I don't think they can. Which, uh, if that is true, then that's amazing. Because that's really the big slowdown when you're trading with villagers is that they can the trades can get locked and then you basically just have to play the waiting game until they refresh their trades. So, this should give us basically a nice little passive source of uh, emeralds as long as I keep harvesting all of my sheep. Which, you know, since we have the... Um, sleep real quick. There we go. Since we have the animal pens over here. It's not difficult to harvest sheep. I can harvest them once every five minutes. And when I do, I get four plus stacks of sheep. And also I can breed more and more and more and keep pumping that number up. And then this actually, you know what? I should just put the uh, the guy in the barn. That would be the smart thing to do, is just put him in there. But yeah, that's basically how it works. We now have a uh, source of emeralds that will last and last and last, and it will keep putting these out, and that means that I can enchant all of my vault gear. So, yay. Also within the Easy Villagers mod, and this is really cool, uh, this I didn't realize. Uh, you can make an iron farm, which is pretty nifty, and you can make a farm farm. Now, I don't know how quickly this will generate uh, stuff. Like if we put wheat seeds or carrots or whatever in there, I don't know how quickly it will generate things. But it's a I can automate the production of uh, crops and things with this, which is fantastic. And I can automate iron and it puts out about one iron every 60 seconds or so, which for small scale is not bad. I mean, I have an okay amount of iron right now, but I don't really go through it that fast because I'm just one guy and I'm not building massive quantities of hoppers or anything like that at the moment. So uh, that could be a great idea. That could be great for us as well. Again, requires a couple of pogs, but uh, pogs actually do have a recipe. They require one of each of the unique vault gems, and we do have a fair amount. Uh, I mean, we could make, what, like, 13 pogs, I think? Eight. We could make eight, because eight is the uh, the one we have the lowest number of. That's a lot of pogs. I mean, it's not like we're running super low on them. So, anyway, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to uh, wait till I have enough emeralds here to properly enchant all of my vault gear that I want. And I'm going to run this vault, and uh, hopefully we'll find a vault armory in there or the the art the, the archive thing that i've been stuck on forever hopefully we'll find that okay this vault seems like it will probably be okay um we don't need a ton of stuff it's just that the stuff we need is from pretty rare uh like is all pretty rare so I guess we'll just see how it goes. Uh, this is an amazing first room, except none of what we actually need is gilded chests. So there is that. Uh, I don't want to spend too long in this room, though, because, like, again, this is going to be essentially all gilded chests, and I don't need... Oh, hi. There's a lot of you. There's a lot of uh, bad guys here. And I don't even need mob kills. I need uh, I need coin piles. I need living chests, and I need ornate chests. And that's that's all I need. Oh, hey, oh hi. What am, what did I get hit by? I don't know. Either way, coin piles. This is good. We do need gold bangles, and there do appear to be a fair amount of coins here. Although, none of them have dropped what we need, so that is rather unfortunate. Uh, but there are some more up here. Oh, there was one. Okay. Okay, well, we got one... We got one gold bangle, or one green bangle. So that is a start. <laughs> we still, still need one more, but that's actually... Probably one of the uh, items I'm more worried about. 
simply because they're it's pretty rare. Um, and coin piles themselves aren't exactly super, super common either. That's a lot of enemies. Uh, so we're just going to run away. Oh, okay. There's a dungeon here. It's normal difficulty. Okay, this might be our chance. We need to do our best not to die. Wow, they hit so hard. Um, I think we'll be okay, though. Okay, did we get them all? I think so. And I think we can still get uh, stuff from these coin piles. Uh, I think I saw more. Yeah, we've got enough green bangles now, so that's amazing. So we're, we're multitasking. We're both working on the vault objective and uh, hopefully getting to an archive at the end. Oh, more. Oh, didn't mean to mine all those, but that's fine. I, I'm mining a lot of stuff right now that I didn't mean to, but it's okay. Okay, I see more enemies. Okay, very good. I know there is going to be a boss at the end of this, I believe. So that is something we'll have to sort of keep in mind. It looks like we're roughly, looking at the map, it appears that we're like roughly halfway through. Yep, there he is. Uh, you know what? Let's actually take our potion here. Oh, he spits. Yo, that was actually a piece of cake. Was that... Was that it? Or is there more? Oh, no, I think it goes up again. Oh, okay, yeah, we're not done. We're not done. Just kidding. I thought I I was thinking we were done. Turns out we uh, are, in fact, not. But it doesn't look like there is an archive at the end of this, unfortunately. So pity. Uh, unless it appears like when you know. OK, well, still, that was good. I mean, we did get a whole bunch of. Wait, is this climbable? Oh, it is. Oh, hello. Oh, there's nastier stuff up here. Much, much, no, much nastier stuff. Okay, well, uh, that's rather unfortunate. Um, I think we did mine enough gold, <laughs> honestly, that we'll be okay. Well, we're up to the point right now where uh, we, <laughs> it cost me 41 gold to get all my stuff back. And the thing is, it goes up the more times you revive. It's supposed to go down when you complete vaults. Um, but I don't know how many vaults you need to complete before it starts going down. Because I feel like I haven't died that much recently. I think, I feel like in the last, like, 10 to 15 vaults that I've completed. I've died maybe twice, three times at most, something like that. So I don't know how quickly it's supposed to go down. But either way, um, we got cut short, uh, obviously, because we died. So we didn't get a ton of good stuff. But we did get this chest plate from killing the boss. Might as well look and see if it's any good. It is only common. Uh, no. Our current one is better. Um, so. Oh, well. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get this stuff all put away. We did get some chip jewels. Ooh, that one's actually pretty good. Reach copiously and mining speed. That's a great jewel. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get all this stuff put away. And then I'll get this stuff all broken down. And I guess I'll just make another vault and try this again. Well, my friends, I have been grinding away, running vaults, still haven't found... I, I actually did find a dungeon. It just didn't have an alchemy table in it. Uh, so someday I will find an alchemy archive and interact with it so I can get to the quests that are appropriate for my... I might hit level 50 before we complete the quest from like level 20. 
Uh, that is a very real possibility. Um, but one thing that I did do is I unlocked Vault Potions. And I think we should probably go ahead and take advantage of that. Uh, because compared to our Slaughterer's Vial, uh, this thing heals us a little bit and then gives us regeneration. But the potion should heal us for six instead of four. And it should have two different modifier slots. So we can put regeneration and something else on it, if I understand this correctly. Uh, now, to make this, you need some stuff. I mean, there's only one real difficult part of the recipe. Basically, you need a, bi you need a bottle, three vault diamonds, a red mushroom, two vault essence, and then you need four golden apples, or two golden apples, which require four gold blocks each. So, um, <laughs> yeah, golden apples, way more expensive in this mod pack than uh, in vanilla, but it should be fine. So let's go ahead and make a slaughterer's potion. And then that means we no longer need our vial. Uh, I'll just throw it in here, I guess. We'll put our gold back. And then let's take this thing upstairs to our alchemy table. Toss that in here. Okay. Oh, uh, that's right. We need vault diamonds and vault gold. So we definitely want regeneration. I'm leaning towards like regeneration and either absorption hearts or regeneration and mana. I'm kind of leaning towards regeneration and mana, to be honest. Um, because the thing is, our heal, uh, uses 35 mana, which is quite a lot, actually. <laughs> um, so it would be nice, I think, I, I think this will be enough gold. Uh, so it would be nice to be able to get some of that back so that we can heal again. So, uh, we definitely want the regeneration, as I said. And then, oh, that's right. I've got this enabled at the moment. Then we put that back in here. And now we should be able to put uh, Restore Mana on it as well. And there we go. And now I'm fairly certain... Can I put more stuff on it? Can I put, like, Absorption Hearts on it as well? If I do that, though, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to have enough gold to revive myself if I die. So let's not do that. Because um, I've got, like, a decent amount of gold in here, but it costs, like, 40 gold to revive. And uh, that goes pretty quickly when you're... <laughs> when you're I might actually even have to take... Let's just take uh, some gold out of here. Let's do... Something like that. There we go. Hopefully that will be enough if I die that I can revive and get my stuff back. You know what? Let's better safe than sorry. Let's just make absolutely certain because you, I mean, especially with us wanting to, uh, you know, find a dungeon. That means I have to go inside the dungeon and dungeons are dangerous. So anyway, uh, just wanted to give you that little update. Other than that, not a whole lot. I mean, I did find a new chest plate, which I'm currently wearing. Gives me armor, health, uh, more armor and health than I had previously. Uh, but I'm about due for some upgrades on everything else. Leggings, boots, he helmet, uh, definitely sword. I'm still rocking a level 37 sword right now, which is definitely not ideal. I just haven't found anything better since. So, yeah, I think it's time for me to run again. I'm just going to keep running vaults until uh, until I find what I need. Well, my friends, I have been running vaults. Still no luck on the alchemy archive. I have completed a few dungeons within the vaults, but none of them have had the alchemy archive at the end. Uh, I'm now level 48 going on 49. But the vault that I just completed, well, uh, escaped from, I didn't actually complete it, but I survived it, uh, was amazing. I found I think it's called the Blacksmith Room. It has just a ton of ornate chests. And as a result, I got all of this vault gear from basically that one room. 
uh, just a massive amount of different vault gear. And I also found uh, one of the villages that has a bunch of the trades. So I ended up spending, I think it was 11 vault gold for a loot belt, which is an upgraded backpack. You can see it has more storage space. Uh, and I spent about 20 vault gold for a vault trinket. So let's see what this is. The Golden Burger doubles vault experience gained. Okay, nice. Uh, this thing is dead. <laughs> it has no more uses left, unfortunately. Um, yeah, and this goes here. Okay, so unfortunately my Tenos' necklace, I think, I don't know if that was its last use in this most recent vault or if it ran out before, but yeah, this thing is completely dead. So I believe what you do once that is done is I think you throw them in here. Nope. Uh, well, maybe that's what you do and you just, I just didn't get anything back. I'm not sure. But yeah, I got a ton of good stuff in that most recent vault. I got fundamental foci. I got uh, all of this vault gear. Let's see if any of this is good. Also, I did have an expertise point. Uh, and I put it into Fortuitous Finesse to hopefully increase the chances of getting le legendary modifiers when we identify gear. So, let's see. What did we get? I just want to see if anything here is exceptionally rare. I'm not a... Ooh, okay. We got a couple of, uh, a couple of epics here. Not bad. Anything with a legendary modifier. This one. These vault leggings have uh, a huge amount of armor. Although, hilariously, our other vault leggings also have a legendary modifier. So, <laughs> um, eh, is what it is. Um, but, what about this chest plate? I mean, it does give more armor than our previous one. It also gives crit hit, hit resistance over ability power, which I think is better because we don't really use ability power uh, for our current build. So if we can re-roll the stuff on this, this could be a really good chest plate. Uh, and then this vault axe, tons of damage, shocking hit chance. Eh, it's okay. Um, yeah, it's all right. I would like to see chaining on it, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's okay. I think we're still better off with uh, what we've currently got. I'll look through this stuff and just see if there's anything here that's uh, significantly better. Ooh, 10% cooldown reduction isn't bad. Uh, I'll see if there's anything here that's, like, significantly better than what we already have, but I'm not... I, I don't know that... Nothing jumps out at me other than maybe this chest plate, if we can re-roll uh, the prefixes and suffixes into better stuff um, to give us more survivability. Because we are kind of getting to a point where we're taking a little more damage in the vaults than I would like. So uh, we'll see. But anyway, guys, I think we are out of time for this episode. I'm really hoping that by the next time you see me, I will have that stupid alchemy archive quest done. <laughs> I've been working on that for like 20 levels and uh, unsuccessfully. Oh, well, it is what it is. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.